Okay, I finally got the code written and got some NEMA 17 stepper motors running on this ESP32 prototyping board right there. Um, I never, I've never done this before, right? So usually I use um, other, you know, other stuff: Raspberry Pis, Rock 64s, uh, microchip picks, you know, that sort of thing. So this is kind of new for me. So I've just got two channels set up here. Now, just for uh, figuring things out, I ran them over to this set of LEDs so that I can see the states of the motors. And then they're just going back to these. These are two H bridges. So here are the wires, four wires. These are uh, bipolar stepper motors. Well, they're actually, these are wrapped back because they're actually um, uh, unipolars, but I'm running them as bipolars. So that's so these two H bridges. Uh, here, this yellow is 12 volts coming in. Black is the ground coming in. I just have them daisy chained together. I've actually got these H bridges have a uh, five volt output right here, which I'm using the um, oh crud, my light just turned off. Hold on. All right, my power supply died, but I have quickly rigged up another power supply, so I think we're back in business. Anyway, what I was saying is this also has uh, 5 volts coming off here, which I could rig up to there, but I haven't done it because I'm just using the USB right now. But eventually, I'll go ahead and hook this in to, I'll actually hook it into the USB power pan over here and that way it will run through the 5 volt regulator. Okay, all right, so let's get on to business. Let me push this and it's going to reset everything and you'll hear the motors beep. They're just vibrating in place to let me know that they're up and running. Okay, so all right, you saw the lights flash, you saw the motors or you heard the motors beep, you know that they're running. All right, so here we're going to, I'm going to step these motors. They're stepping really slow, like at five steps a second. I'm just going to go in and then back into place. So that's motor two, that's motor one. Now you notice that there's two lights on at all times because I am running it with two coils energized, right? And then, up, oh, got something burning up. Ooh, smell smoke. This is not good. Not good. Okay, back to what I was saying. I've got two coils energized at all times. Uh, that's what I'm running here, just because these motors needed some some extra strength. Okay, so that was running really slow. You could see the steps actually happening, and now um, I will run it at normal speed, and it'll do it ten times. It just did it once out, once back. Now we're running at uh, normal speed 10 times. See, way, way faster, right? Come on, now. okay, there's 10. All right, now you probably wanna see uh, what that looks like from the front side. So here goes. Okay, so there you go. All right, the next thing that I'm gonna do is play some music. And this is uh, gonna be stationary, so I'm playing it on um, the second channel, second motor. Uh, this is just uh, the Axel F song that I played in another video. Uh, you'll notice that only three of these lights are gonna light up, because what I'm doing is actually I'm just stepping forward, stepping back, stepping forward, stepping back, and then I do it at the right frequency. I'm changing, you know, how fast I step to match the notes. So yeah, only these three, because it's only using two states of the uh, of the motor. Now 
Now, if I do the same thing, but uh, actually move the motors, so step it, you'll see that all these lights will light up. It also sounds a little different because now I'm actually stepping the motors and they're moving. Okay. Okay, now you probably want to see what that looks like on the front side. So let me move around there. Okay, that's pretty much it for now. Got my H bridges set up got the Raspberry Pi. This can come out of the circuit and I'll just correct, connect these directly and then I'm ready to start programming on this project which you're probably wondering what it is but I'm not going to tell you.